Robert Amps and Sound, I wanted to share a little bit about what I have in front of me, which is my latest turntable. I now have become an analog addict, I guess. Uh, I have gone from having a little under 2,000 records. I inherited a huge collection. Somebody um, had passed on and gave me a large collection, and I was able to matriculate through that collection. And realized that 2,000 records that I don't play wasn't the right choice for me, and now I have about 200 records that I play often and love, and this is sort of my short list. So this is pretty much what I play on a regular basis, and so it's right above my table. Uh, I have had a lot of really interesting tables over the years, uh, a lot of different variants from techniques, um, going from like the very earliest techniques that I had restored and modified um, to the 1200s and you know the, the 1200 mark fives <clears throat> and even the the GS 1200s or the GR 1200s I should say um, I've had a cadre of VPIs I have a, a total soft spot for uh, mass loaded plinths and uh, VPI tables in, in general and, and love the total direction of all VPI tables at this point. Um, but there's something to be said about Garrard's and I've really come to love the idea of the mechanical nature of a Garrard, which is that, you know, it's an asynchronous motor that's the size of a blender motor and that its speed is largely controlled by a pulley uh, and an intermediate idler wheel. And the mechanical nature of it, I can understand and I can restore and so I've, I've come to appreciate and love them and have in very short order restored for them already and this one is my brand new unit which is built just for me by me so we have a plinth that we've made ourselves the plinth alone is a little under 60 pounds and uh, constrained layer uh, super non-resident really love how quiet it is uh, the motor comes from CNC in England. It's uh, the actual chassis of the motor is, if I remember correctly, a CNC cut um, brass. Uh, the bearing is super amazing. The whole thing is brand new. It's whisper quiet. It's really quite lovely. Uh, the arm is an SME uh, M212R. Sporting and my good friend Russ Stratton has always told me for years and years and years that I need to get on the Ortofon uh, SPU bandwagon. I finally now own one. I think I understand what he has been telling me all these years, having gone from Denon, Denon 103s, 103Rs, um, Audio Technica OC9s, Audio Technica OC9 ML, fantastically good cartridge. Um, you know, I, I love both of those cartridges, I think they're fantastic. Uh, but this is a really, really special combination, which is uh, the 1E, uh, so the Ortofon SPU 1E. And uh, David, who's a good friend at Cinemag, has wound for me two custom sets of step-ups that will be here Wednesday. And it'll be paired with our Pre, which has external step-up transformer jacks on octals. And so we have a 1 to 32 step-up and a 1 to 24 step-up both of which are optimized for the low impedance that the SPU presents. And so far, I love everything about it. Uh, record weight, super simple, is from a project. It's a really good pound, two pound record weight. I think it's brass, just coated in black. Uh, cabling is Wireworld, fantastically good cabling. Record mat, <clears throat> you guys might have to DM me about this. But I got turned on to this record mat that actually absorbs vibration and it makes any platter I've put it on quieter. It's about $75 uh, to the door, but it definitely lowers the noise floor of any turntable I've put it on, most especially ones that might be prone to ringing. Um, I am not a big believer in fancy feet for my amplifiers, nor my turntables. And so we have my big just industrial rubber feet they seem to do the trick. Uh, it doesn't teeter. It's really quiet. Um, and if I want to make it a little quieter, I could always slide some sort of thing underneath it. I have heard 
really, really resolving turntables before. In my space, this is the most musical turntable I've ever heard and the most right. And so for today, I am really, really just pleased and happy to have it here. So wanted to share. If you guys want to ask me questions, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I also will do a small video on uh, one of the restored versions I'm working on right now too. So.